Here's what you need to know about your local real estate market in this week's market update. Now, we're currently in an extremely competitive, strong seller's market. It remained a seller's market throughout the fall and into the winter. However, the last three to four weeks, we've seen a huge uptick in buyer activity. And while we've seen some relief in inventory, uh, that inventory is, is being sold as quickly as it's coming on the market. And we're really not seeing any significant relief. Now, does this mean it's a bad time to buy or to sell? No, it does not. It means that if the life situation is right for you, if you have a need to buy or sell, uh, it is certainly a good time uh, to transact. For you know, as a buyer, what better time to buy an asset than the time where it is going to continue to appreciate uh, significantly? Uh, and as a seller, you know, you are a little bit more in the driver's seat uh, in the current market, so it is definitely a good time to sell. Uh, but you need to be uh, educated on the current market and you need to be uh, ready, willing, and able to compete in the ways that, that you will need to in this type of market. You know, for example, I've had some new buyers reach out to me and they say, uh, you know, and we start, before I'll even show them houses, we need to talk about concepts like limiting your inspections and waiving your appraisals and, and, and things of that sort. And I've had some of these buyers say, oh, no, 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 no. We, we're not comfortable waiving our appraisal. We're, we're not gonna do that. Well, you know, it's my job to educate them on these concepts, not only to inform them that they are uh, not only important, but in, in most cases necessary in order to compete in this market, but also to help them truly understand what that means to them, uh, you know, how, in terms of risk exposure and financial commitment. Um, but to simply say, I'm not going to do these things, I don't feel comfortable with that. Well, if those are things you need to do to compete in the current market, you need to get comfortable with that. Um, most of the times, a lot of the people who are vehemently opposed to and, and afraid of making certain concessions, uh, most of the time it's because they are um, not fully informed on what that risk means to them. So we'll sit down and rather just say, hey, you should waive your appraisal and just take a complete risk. Well, let's let's run some scenarios. Let's look at what that would look like if your home were under appraised. What do we think the greatest uh, risk is? And let's run those numbers and see what it really means to you and how that would play out. And most of the times they say, you know, that's really not that big of a deal. Once I've once I've run the numbers and and played out the scenario, uh, you know, while I hope that that situation doesn't arise, uh, it's really not that big of a risk, not that big of a concession now that I've been able to uh, fully understand it. So now I'm able to compete and put my best foot forward and give myself the best opportunity. And from seller's standpoint, from seller's standpoint, you really need to have an agent who is, is capable um, and familiar with reading between the lines. Um, you know, when you have multiple offers, it's not as simple as saying who is the highest. Um, you know, a lot of it comes down to terms, what they're promising, but beyond just promising the terms is gauging an understanding of their uh, readiness and willingness to follow through on their promises. The last thing you want is to accept an offer out of 20 offers, only to then a few weeks later find out that they're going back on their promises, they're trying to get their way out of that deal, and a lot of your other buyers have, uh, have found other homes or, or gone elsewhere. Um, so you need to be able to read the lines. Some examples, you know, I've lately I've had a lot of, uh, you know, properties that are in, in rough condition that are, we're selling in as is condition. And those take a unique buyer uh, that is capable of, uh, of absorbing that risk. Uh, you know, and I've had some plenty of people come in and say, hey, uh, we're accepting it as is condition, but we want to do an inspection for informational purposes only. Well, you know, if, if you are, willing to buy that house as is, and no matter what comes up, you are uh, agreeing to proceed with that sale, that purchase, well then, if you're doing an inspection, that does raise some concerns. I'm not saying that's all scenarios. In fact, most of the houses I'm selling do involve inspections, and inspection contingencies, but you know, if, if what you're promising and then what you're uh, planning to do are, are contradictory, you're, uh, you know, your seller's agent should be um, posing some questions and, and raising some alarms uh, and being very cautious about that. Um, so let's get into the numbers this week and see uh, see what we're looking at. So this past week uh, in Marstown and Mars Township, we saw nine homes come on the market. Five of those were town and four of those were in township. Uh, 
Four of those were single family homes and five of those were condos or townhouses. We saw an average list price of $702,000. Um, homes actively on the market, total inventory. Uh, so this week, total inventory is 28 homes actively on the market. Uh, that's compared to 29 last week. So we're really not seeing any significant change. What that tells us is homes are coming on the market and they are pretty much immediately selling. Um, uh, number of homes sold this past week. We only saw one home sell this past week. Uh, at list price of that home was $449,000. Sale price of that home was $450,000. So that sold slightly above list price, 0.2% above list price to be exact. Uh, as I've said in the past few weeks, and I'm going to continue to say it, the sold figures um, that we're seeing homes sell right now, uh, that, those, that data is a little dated. Um, I'm looking much more closely at the homes I'm seeing to go under contract and the inside information that I'm seeing is those are selling significantly over list price. So please, if you are uh, in the market to buy a home, don't look at the current sold data too much uh, to guide you because you will, you'll be missing out. You'll be misguided and you'll be getting outbid like crazy. Um, under contract homes, we saw nine homes go under contract this past week. Average list price of those homes was $647,000 and the median days on market for those homes was 13 days on the market. Um, so uh, we are ramping up in the spring market. I am really strongly hoping that we'll see uh, a, a, some relief in inventory, hopefully a significant relief. I know that I have plenty of uh, listings that I'm working on uh, for March. Um, at Cobble Banker, we do have a phenomenal program. It's called Exclusive Look. Uh, for um, uh, myself and my colleagues to share um, off-market uh, homes that we have or homes that we have coming up on the market. So if you are looking to buy a home and your agent does not have access to that, you should be reaching out to me You should or, or working with a Cobble Banker agent that has access to this phenomenal database. Uh, it will certainly give you a leg up. Um, and as a seller, it's really a great way to uh, gauge interest in your home before you f go fully fledged on the market. Um, so I certainly appreciate your feedback. Uh, please, if you know somebody that uh, would benefit from this information, I strongly encourage you to share this video with them and have a great weekend. I look forward to checking in with you guys again next week. Yeah.